Hello folks, Ken Berry here, OB Farms. I'm creating some more silvo pasture today, clearing out this very dense wooded lot. And for the first year of doing this, I always cut trees in paddocks where the sheep were not. But I was just reading a book recently, I'm gonna post it down in the show notes, that's uh, about silvo pasture. Uh, the guy said, why do that? Why not drop these trees? Obviously not drop them on your sheep, but drop them in the paddock where your sheep are so that they can browse. And if they wanna eat the leaves off the trees, they can. And you can see my ewes right here are tearing this tulip poplar up. Uh, tulip poplar seems to be the favorite tree that I drop here and I'm not going to drop all the tulip poplars. There's a there's a big one. I'm going to keep that one. I'm I'm trying to keep as much biodiversity here as I can, but I've got to clear out and get some more silvo pasture. And that's so shady. There's never going to be grass in there. Not even orchard grass or some of the shade tolerant species. They're never going to grow back there. So I got to keep cutting trees. And I have now ad adapted to uh, creating silvo pasture in the paddock where the sheep are so that they can browse. And if they want tulip poplar or ironwood or sweet gum, they can eat it. If not, they can eat the grass. All right, guys, just an update on the sheep. This is Ken Berry. See you next time.